Okay guys, so another thing that I experienced from this relative is uh, the words that I can hear coming from the spirit. Okay, they say, they say words to me from their spirit. So this is what they will say. Okay, this, this happens when I'm in their presence. They will say, you are worthless. You are a piece of garbage. You don't mean anything. You, um, you were born for my pleasure to torment. Um, they say a lot of things, so I'm trying to remember. You have no value. Who do you think you are? I am better than you. Um, you have no right to complain about the way that I'm treating you. How dare you have anything to say about the way I'm treating you? You were born for these purposes. You were born for these purposes because I have the right to torment you for all the harm that was caused me. Okay, th th these are the things that I can hear coming from their spirit. And they s it's a constant, constant, constant thing when I see them. So that's another form of, it's very debilitating, right? That's, that happens, like when it becomes debilitating, it's when I, I, it's so much. Like this happens every day. It happens every day. Like I see them a lot and it happens every day. So usually, even though it hurts, it doesn't affect me like it does. Like for example, I could be hearing this stuff for three months and then all of a sudden, the weight of all those words will be so much that I will feel like I want to collapse and then I'll say, Father, please help me. I can't do this. And then suddenly a lot of like the Lord will just, he will lift, he will lift the, the, the agony of, of the weight of all that stuff. And then the peace will come over me and I'll be strong again. And I'm like, okay, now the, the words continue and they're not affecting me. They're not affecting me like in a usual, like normally, right? Like they won't affect me. Like as soon as the Lord lifts all that horrible, like the horrible pain and all the, the weight of it, like I'm going to go crazy. At times I feel like I'm going to go crazy. But as soon as he lifts all that weight, then like he fills me with his peace at the same time. Then so, it's like I'm brand new. I'm brand new. I can, I can deal with it again. It's like the Lord re-energizes you to continue to deal with the fire that is being thrown at you. It's like when your batteries are dying and they, they can't support whatever, like you, on your phone, the batteries are dying and, and, and pretty soon, you know, it's getting weaker and weaker and weaker and, until it just dies. You have to um, recharge your batteries, put them back in your phone, and all of a sudden your phone is brand new, like brand new. It, it starts to operate like it's brand new. It's strong again. You understand? Just like that. So whenever I'm feeling the, the, like like at times when I feel debilitated, like I want to collapse, then the Lord will recharge my batteries, <laughs> you know, my spiritual batteries, and I'm new again and I'm strong again and I'm like, hey, I can take the world, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. So that's what I've been going through. I've been going through this for many, many, many years. Guys, many, many, many years. I mentioned in one of my videos that, you know, Certain callings come with um, very atrocious uh, attacks. I mean, it's not even, I mean, attacks is not the word. Okay, it, attacks is not the word. <laughs> you know, like I, I know that, you know, certain callings, like I said, certain callings, with certain callings comes um, a battlefield that you did not expect and if you do not pass it it won't be good for you and it won't be good for the people that God meant to to divinely connect you with so that those people would fare better like God has people in our lives that he wants us to meet for his purposes to he wants us to reach them for him and it's only through you because when he wants you to pass your test and your assignments so that when when you reach a certain point when you reach a certain level you will be completely ready to know how to deal with the problems and 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 the dilemmas whatever troubles that 
the people that God wants you to meet, they're going to be dealing with stuff that you went through and you are going to have the tools and the skills to teach them how to go through it. Right? So that's why God, He puts certain people, not that He puts certain people through it, because He doesn't put us through anything. He uses our traumas and, and whatever we go through for His good. So whatever the devil puts us through, the Lord, <laughs> I'm laughing because God is amazing the way he uses us for his glory through anything that the devil puts us through, right? So like in one of my videos, I was saying like certain callings, like a prophet, right? Like God told me that I was a seer, right? So seers are prophets and, and, and you know, and some people are called to be an evangelist. Some people are called to be an apostle. Some people are called to be, some, some people are, um, what are the other... I forget the other, the other words, the other terms. I forget. Um, I've met a few empath prophets, and yeah, so like those kinds too, like the, those kind of callings, and they just they have a heavier, they have a heavier um, weight of a calling. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to put it in words, but certain callings carry a greater. You pay a big price. Certain with certain callings, you pay a big price to to reach um, the, to pass all of your assignments and your tests. You pay a very big price, and it normally happens the moment you're born. Okay, okay. So certain callings, um, you 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 pay a big price, and the price normally takes place the moment you're born. And in some cases, um, like what I mean is the moment you're born, like when you're an infant, sometimes it doesn't take place until you're like you're five. Other times it doesn't take place until like you're, until you're like maybe seven. Um, but at some point in your, in your childhood or in your youth, you, you face uh, a lot of, there are traumas and just horrible things that you go through throughout your life, throughout your life, guys. And, and if if you know if you talk to prophets they will tell you that they have been through hell they have been through hell okay every prophet that i've known so far has been through hell okay so that this is why god you know he'll he he uses certain people who have gone through things he he'll give them a certain calling because of what they've been through all right and Guys, you know, let me tell you something. Uh, last year, last year I was just at home, you know, just just thinking about everything that I've been through since I was a child, and uh, well, by the way, I I had a wonderful childhood. <laughs> my family was amazing. My parents, my grandmother, my my brothers. Uh, I've had a, an incredible life. I'm talking. I'm as far as like in my my family. If I had an amazing childhood, all three of us. We had an amazing childhood. I'm talking about um, things that I've been through outside of my family. Okay, so yeah. Um, so one time, guys, I was, I was last year. I was a. Uh, we're in 2019, so yes, it was 2000 last year. Just I think at the end of the year, towards the end of the year, I was just at home, just going through, um, going through the past seven years that I've been, because when I rededicated my life to Christ, and that's when uh, another kind of uh, intense fire attack started happening to me, right? And I said, Father, no, I was, well, I was talking to the Lord Jesus. I said, like I was, I was just going through all the stuff that I've been through with these relatives, right? And so I said, Lord, if I could do it again, if, if, if I could, if you could, cause me to be reborn again like from my mother's stomach lord i could not do this again because like i said from the time i was a, a little kid i've been going through hell a lot of hell and these are these are things that i i cannot get into i i don't want to get into these things guys some some things you need to keep private right you just there's there's some things that you want to keep between yourself and god and other things that you can tell. And even though you, you want to keep certain things private, you can still 
tell people, you know, you've been through horrible things, and but you have you have come out of it more than an overcomer because of my Savior. I've always believed in my Savior. I'm Catholic, and guys, when you're Catholic, you are a Christ believer till the end of the universe. <laughs> Okay, so there was never a moment in time when I never knew who the Lord Jesus was. That's how, that's how staunchly we believe in the Lord Jesus. Now I don't believe like there are a lot of, a lot of us Catholics. We don't a lot of us Catholics. We don't believe in the same way that others, like you know, in in the Catholic faith. Yes, we're taught there's a lot of a lot of things that are not godly, but not every Catholic worships in that way. You understand? Okay. So by the way, there are Catholics in heaven. I've seen them. So for you who are saying that, oh, Catholic, Catholicism is a cult. I've got news for you, friend. Catholicism is not a cult. Yes, there are some mistakes, but God does not hold it against them. There are Catholics in heaven. I have seen them. Okay, so I've been to Catholic schools my entire life. God was there. I could feel his presence. I used to enter into public schools and there was a void. God was not there. So wherever I went, where there was Catholic, God was there because I could feel, I could sense his presence. All three of them, God, the Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit, I could sense their presence in every Catholic school that I've visited and all my Catholic schools that I went to. Well, I've only been to two, you know, from grade, from kindergarten all the way to junior kindergarten to grade eight. And then from grade nine up to graduation. Okay. My Catholic schools, God was there. My brother's schools, Catholic, God was there. I went into my friend's public schools, God was not there. And in my mind, I'm like, how do you guys function? God isn't here. There's a void here. So anyway, now what was I saying? Yeah, so I was saying, Lord Jesus, I don't know that I could do it again. If you were to, if you were to, Lord, I said, I said Lord, if, if you were to allow me to be born again from my mother's stomach, and, and relive my life again with everything that I've been through, Lord. I said, Lord, I could not survive it. I could not survive another another um, life of everything that I've been through. I said, Lord Jesus, I could not do it. Right. And so after I said this, I, I paused. And then I heard the Lord Jesus say, oh, yes, you could. And I'm like, Lord with everything that I've been through since I was a child and everything that I'm still going through, you mean I could still, I could survive this again? You know, in my mind, I'm like, I, wow, I can't believe that I could do that. You know, cause, cause I, I said, oh, I forgot to mention one detail that I said to the Lord. I said, Lord, if I could do this life again, I don't think